Hi there, this is ICB Piano, and this is a tutorial for Gulia Papyrus by Fish. Um, if you're looking for a perfect video, then just X out this tab. Uh, I'm just going to try my best here. I already know people are going to probably have some negative comments. Um, just because I learned this by ear, so there's um, some definite things that will not be completely right. Not that I play the wrong notes, but meaning that let's say Paige is playing multiple things with both hands, I might not have caught all of it. That's what I mean. Also, I, I'm i doing this video by request. The video that I made before didn't turn out well. It also didn't include all of it. Um, and so there's some parts in here where I just learned it. But I'm all the purpose of this video is, is just to... Um, show you how to play it and even if i make mistakes you should be able to get the gist of it and um i'll try to go through the main part quick just because it's a lot easier it's in b minor Also another thing, you obviously can't see the whole keyboard. Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately, because I have, if you could see the way that my camera is, like there's nothing else I can do. Plus, I think you wouldn't be able to see the keys because the camera quality is bad. So sorry about that. So obviously, you know, you might be saying that wasn't the whole thing, but I said I was going to go through it quick. So I just showed you the chords. If you know the song, you know how many times it does. So let's go right on over to the other part. So I'll try to play it slow. For some reason, because I play this fast usually, like on the song, it's somehow harder for me to play it slow. Just because I, it's really just like muscle memory. Like I don't think about the individual notes until I'm doing this. So... There's really different sections. I'll call this section one, okay? So that's section one, pretty simple. The common, or not really common, but like that seems like a pretty traditional sounding bass line. I mean, it resolves. You never can have, I mean, not, I mean, that's why I'm saying it sounds traditional because you go, it just resolves like that. Okay. How about that? Then the next, I will call this part two. This is a part I'll have to play slow because I know it's kind of weird. section two might just want to rewind go slow because i just can't say every note you know now section three here's the part where it starts to get a little bit strange okay so let me just stop there you might be expecting this right but if you know anything about fish they don't do that right they go I'll stop right there for a second because that's a lot just for considering one section. All right, I had to stop it anyways. We're not doing the Wolfman's Brother, are we? I just had to hand that to Liz. Okay, 
So let's start at this. I wish that you could see more over here, but I know that you can't see once I get past there. I'll try to pay attention to that. So. It's a little bit strange. Let me just go up here for that. So it goes two times as fast instead of how, what it was doing. It goes. So that's why it's hard because it's not like it's really strange intervals. on the section four so that was probably the hardest so far but you know it gets a little bit harder soon and that's the part where i'm talking about that it will be soon that i if not already that i it might not be completely correct so this is once again okay like it was before just up in a different key that part it's like And then it goes, let's see, make sure, making sure that's still in the camera. And then the, here's the part where I just kick out the left hand because we let Mike do the work right there, okay? Then we go. If you can't see what I'm doing, I have an F sharp, I have a C, I have an F sharp, I have a B flat. Well, A sharp, whatever. So let's start. That's what I consider the beginning of section five. Because because section four started. It was that, but now we, we after the part where it's like do 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 and it just goes right down. Then we go. that's weird about that is it skips a beat you could say this is in six eight or you could just say it's just triplets whichever you prefer but at this part regardless it skips a beat so that's important to note right here it goes so that might sound like it I, I, sharp there and then it's so then it's the same thing as before just transpose down one that weird chord is it Then we have well you can't see up there so i'll just have to do here then it's the same that same f chord but instead we add on a c sharp and
chords are very strange. So let me do that part again that's like this. Uh, we have A. It's kind of like a whole tone sort of thing. But A, B, G sharp, F, G. And then... Then that's the, after that, so this is the part obviously where it's not definitely, it doesn't, it might not sound completely right because it doesn't also, it doesn't have the guitar and the bass at this part or drums. Um, when it's, I'm talking about like now when I'm playing it and there might be some aspects missing there, but that's at least what the, at least should be the right chords it's not really chords but then after that that's the part where it kind of just is a lot going on but we but it ends with um so i'll have to do that lower so it's a sharp just the same as the beginning so yeah i'm sorry this is definitely probably one of the worst tutorials i've made um but by request at least you hopefully you can learn most of um most of what it is um it's one of the hardest songs that i've learned because because that is atonal like I, it's pretty hard for me to tell all that's going on or predict what it is um it's not really my favorite song to play on the piano but um anyways i hope this helped to some extent for whoever might want to learn and that'll be it